second heat. He only ran that to qualify. He could be a surprise package in the final. What about the rag, Paul Fleming? Well, I don't think Mansfield will have a Wembley winner today, I'm afraid. Now, £10,000 to the winner, they're all triers. Even you could win for that, John. <laughs> well, certainly right there. At what price would Steve Cram be in this final? He'd have to run in football boots. We'd probably only make him 10 to 1. 10 to 1 against Crammy? I'm not running football boots, no way. 10 to 1. Could each be a bet, possibly. Now, how hard is it for footballers training for stamina to conserve their speed? Well, I mean, what you've got to bear in mind, this, for runners, this is a sprint, but for these guys, this is stamina work. They don't normally run 100 metres, but uh, it's, I guess it's going to be hard for them. You can tell the last 30 metres their heads start to rock, but um, they play too many games as well to train specifically for this. Who do you fancy? I think Bartlett. He did look very, very easy in that first heat. He was easing up. And you'll be here for Sunderland in the Cup final? And we're going to win, I hope. <laughs> You are. And over to the fastest loudmouth on the box, Alan Parry. Thanks, John. It's odds on I will be able to pick the winner. I had a bet on Keith Curl and he went out in the semi finals. Here are the men who've made the final, though Lee Jenkinson, the young Hull City striker, Kevin Bartlett from Notts County, Michael Jilks of Reading, John Williams, the former postman from Swansea, Adrian Littlejohn of Sheffield United, Tony Witter of Queen's Park Rangers. Watch out for him, Ethany Koku from Bournemouth and Paul Fleming of Mansfield. £10,000 to the winner, and most of the clever money, as they say, is on Kevin Bartlett. 11.40 to qualify from his regional heat. John Williams, the man who used to deliver letters, who had never any complaints about late deliveries on his round. His first season in league football, he's the Swansea man, all in white in lane four. A £10,000 prize then, Remember, the guys have to run this in full football kit and football boots on a grass track. None of your artificial surface for these boys. Bit of a ragged sort of start. Witter got away very well. So too did Chilks. Third from the right. And Bartlett's got a lot of work to do here at the moment. Big Williams in the middle. of Swansea yes you might well thank a superior power for that one that was a smashing performance by big John Williams he's had a smashing weekend he scored for his team yesterday at Darlington and he's collected a very cool £10,000 here I wonder what Steve Cram made of his performance well, he didn't get off to a great start, did he? But he's a big, powerful boy, and he wouldn't disgrace many sprinting tracks around the world. And I talked about those last 20, 30 metres. He was the strongest at the end and came through and got it on the line. He doesn't start particularly well. He's a big lad. He didn't want to go down on his blocks. But you see, his style is pretty good, actually, from the front. He's got a very, very good arm action. Picks those knees up very, very high. He came through very strong at the finish. And I tell you what, if his team doesn't do so well, he might want to look at the Olympic trials later on in the year. You weren't the favourite, John. Oh, well, I thought I'd stir the bushes up, you know, for putting me 10 to 1. Involving his fellow athletes. And I think the uh, way they've lined up confirms my thought that the second place went to Kevin Bartlett and third to Michael Jilks, the Reading player who's uh, currently on loan to Southampton. He upset the bookies. He upset some much better known players, but he deserved his victory. Well done to John Williams. And he can call himself now officially the fastest footballer in the league. Ah, I'll tell you what, Jack, you'd have given him a draw of first division survival.